I have frequently shared all the uh, all the fake news around many of the incidents. Now I am I'm I'm being the victim of the same fake news. Hi, this is Sandeep. I'm the one who is being called as anti-national. I had shared a video from Brit India in which uh, they were uh, they were showing Imran Khan's interview uh, in which the Imran Khan is explaining actually uh, if the two nuclear states go into the war it will be the destruction of millions of lives. The same thing uh, with reference to that same thing I had written that who sounds more intelligent in this? It was actually a question that I had asked. I didn't ever say that uh, Pakistan was more intelligent or India was more intelligent or anything like that. So they took offense of it and uh, they made a screenshot of that uh, particular post. They have not gone through the other post. Uh, taking the screenshot of that, they spread it over the region, saying that I was anti-national and all those things. I couldn't have a chance to speak when the, when the mob came to me. My place where I live is, is there is no incident like such has happened. The, the protesters, they came were diploma students. They would have barely passed in. Uh, I don't, I don't find them, I don't find it offensive also. I'm not afraid or I'm not uh, in the sense, you know, I'm scared of anything. I'm not angry also. It was just a stupid act that has happened with me. Uh, they should have avoided it. They would have read all the posts that I have made uh, in my Facebook profile. They would have gone through it. Then they would have decided whether I should be called as anti-national or not. They didn't do it. After the end of that incident, there was a person from ABP came to me and asked, uh, would you explain me what you have written in the post? I found it very ridiculous. They would have took the translation of what I had written in the post. They didn't do it. <clears throat> So I think uh, they didn't have a knowledge of what I had written. Uh, they didn't have a knowledge of what the message was there in the video. Uh, they directly jumped into a conclusion. Now I'm letting the police authorities to investigate and see what I have written, what it is there. When the, when the mob came to me and all the colleagues of mine helped me in to, to rescue that situation also. They were with me and they, the management also tried to help me in that situation. Anybody can take offense of anything right in nowadays. I'm the one who supports freedom of speech, definitely. So I hope, I hope the truth will prevail. People will, will, will gather the information related to me and they'll sound more, you know, like informed in this situation.